Hi, my name's Jeffrey, and I'm one of the lighting designers for the newly released Light Architect on the iOS App Store. Today, I'm going to be walking us through identifying a site, locating fixtures, placing them where we need them, as well as calculating their impact on the surrounding area. Let's go ahead and get started. Once the application is loaded, we're going to use our satellite view to create a new project, provide it a name, in this case, we'll just simply name it Sample Design Number 1. And we'll go ahead and hit Get Started. At this point, we need to locate a site that we're going to use for our project. In this case, we'll use 800 Memorial Drive in Griffin, Georgia. Once the site has been located, you can either use a Bluetooth mouse or your fingers to move the map as well as reset its orientation. For this project, we'll be focusing in on this small parking lot. Now that we have the site located, we're going to choose our Add Fixtures option. For today's project, we're going to be using, in the Streetworks family, our Archeon Medium. Now that we've chosen our Archeon Medium, we're going to take our first fixture and move it into the location where we believe a pole to be. Making sure that once that pole is located, we're going to click on our Rotate option and orient it so that the head is facing into the parking lot perpendicular to the curb. Once we've got our single fixture located, if we want to see its impact, we can go ahead and hit the Calculate button. Seeing that it doesn't cover the entire parking lot, let's go ahead and see about adding in a few more fixtures. In this case, we'll hit Back, select the fixture, and choose the Copy option in the bottom right-hand corner. Now that we've created a second fixture, we'll shift it over a little bit further to where we believe another pole may be, and to make sure we've got the entire area covered, we will copy one more. This time, we'll need to reorient this third fixture so that it's facing again perpendicular to the curb and into the drive lane of the parking lot, making sure to click Apply once we're done. Now that we're finished locating all three fixtures, we'll go ahead and hit Calculate to make sure we have the entire parking lot covered with an acceptable uniformity. Since we have not specified a calculation grid, these three fixtures will show in the grid all the way out to where we achieve a 10 to 1 maximum to minimum uniformity. Thank you very much for attending this small training, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Goodbye.